Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I will be as brief as I can, and I thank my colleagues for their attention. Mr. Speaker, as I was saying, Noah passed away suddenly at the age of 16, and because of the manner of his sudden death, it gripped the region by surprise. The community was shaken. Uh, local news stations became engaged in the story to try to report what exactly happened. Um, Mr. Speaker, the Cornets, as, as Ray and, and Pam, as they were, as they were dealing with, with the hardship of losing their son, as the day proceeded, they became aware that they would have to deal with another hardship. And it's a hardship that a few people in our Commonwealth have had to deal with. And it's, it's something that I think is important for us to fix. And it's what Noah's Law addresses. You see, as soon as, as, soon as the cause of death is determined, the practice based on medical examiners and coroners around the state for when they release that information is, is a little bit out of balance across the Commonwealth, and it's, it's discretionary. And so while the Cornets, while Ray and Pam were dealing with their son's death, they also became aware of the fact that as soon as the coroner had reported on his sudden death and what the cause was, as soon as that was, was found out, that the rest of the world would become aware. And in fact, they, they had spoke with the medical examiner ahead of time to make sure that they found out, make sure they were notified and it was, a, it was, a, it was a, uh, a heart tumor that caused Noah's death, and they were notified. And 15 minutes later, the local news station had a nice news story explaining the condition that killed Noah. And the Cornets didn't, they didn't even have an opportunity to process what had happened. They didn't even have an opportunity to deal with that internally and come up with answers and potentially deal with, with questions that would arise. And Mr. Speaker, I, I appreciate my colleagues' attention. I appreciate their unanimous vote. We all know that tragedy is something that we have to deal with in our daily lives. But what we should not accept, what we should not accept is state government, local government, laws that could potentially make that tragedy worse for us. I thank my colleagues. Thank you. And I would just like to introduce uh, Ray and Pam Cornett, the parents of, of Noah.